Hey friends, let's quickly go over a tutorial on how do we adjust the alignment of our folder dropdown items right here. Maybe we want it's left aligned right now. What if we want to do right aligned? I'm going to quickly show you how to just copy and paste the code in there if that's what you want, and then we'll reset and I'll tell you how I sort of got there. So first, let's just copy and paste the code. I'm going to go back into my editor, my Squarespace editor, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to back out here so you can see, design, custom CSS. And this is where we're going to paste in the code that's going to change it. Now over on my website, I have a search for how to left align or right align folder drop down, search for that, and we're going to want to right align it. So I'm going to come down here and just copy this code, and then just paste it into our custom CSS area right there. And you'll see now it is right aligned. Without it, it is left aligned. So that is sort of what happens. So if that's all you need, go for it. Um, if you want to sort of learn how I got there, stick around and I'll show you how I did that real quick. All right, so let's figure out how do we switch the alignment on these folders. So for with anything, you just sort of need to target the item and then look at the code behind the website. So I'm going to expand our page here. And to look at the code behind the website, I'm just going to right click anywhere, go to inspect, open up our web inspector here, and we'll see our HTML that builds the page. I'm going to grab my little targeting tool right here, hover over the item that I want to change. And you'll notice as I hover over it, there's that. I can't select our folder because as I move over here, as I move over, the folder goes away. So what we need to do is toggle the hover state is what it's called. So I'm going to select again select our item now I want to simulate my mouse hovering over my about right here so as I'm selected the item we have this hover state uh, uh, toggle right here so I can drop this down and hit hover and so this will simulate a hover event now you'll notice nothing is happening with it right now so typically if that happens let's move up an element more a, a more parent level element so I'm gonna click on this one and do the same thing hover and there we go, now we see it right here. And as we select on that guy right there, that element, we'll see all of the CSS applied to that one. And we're just gonna kinda look for the alignment. Where does the alignment go? So here we go, this looks like something aligned, text aligned center. You know what, we're not even targeting the right thing. We're just opening up the folder, that's why it wasn't there sort of panicking a little bit. So we have our header nav folder. So this is what we want to select. So I'm gonna select our header nav folder right there. Scroll to the top, there's my cat. And we have, let's see, right down here, we can see we have this left, um, the text line. So these are the items that we want to change. So I'm going to select this. This is our target for our item right there. So I'm gonna copy that. And let's go back into our custom CSS area, paste that in, set up our CSS rule. And then I wanna change maybe our, we'll start with our left. So I'm gonna say left. Uh, and so we're gonna unset that maybe, left that. And then we'll say right. We're gonna give it what they had, what Squarespace had, negative one EM. So I'm sort of doing the opposite side. So perfect, so now we've sort of adjusted it to the other side. And then let's do our text align right. And that might be, what we need to do, 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 do. There we go, so that is how we did it. Now we're perfectly aligned right there. Um, and that's sort of the code. And you can sort of do the reverse if you wanna go the opposite way, if you wanna go uh, right aligned to left aligned with the folder content. So really this hover state is the main, main sort of takeaway from I guess this lesson is, this is how you select items. You can also do this for like buttons and stuff. So I'm gonna target my button right here. And you'll see we're on the A. And then as I hit the hover state simulator right there, again, it's in that hover drop down, that hov drop down. You'll see that it is now, watch this button right here as I toggle this on and off. You'll see the hover state is simulated. And it has an opacity of 0.8. So that's sort of why it's, you know, hiding away. So I can copy, again, copy this entire selector right there paste that in there, and now any styles I put in here will be applied to the hover state of our button. So like a border, uh, two pixels, solid, red. Um, so now it's hover, so if I get rid of that hover simulator as I hover over it, it'll mm, do that. So fun little stuff, hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.